When your AC stops working, just call the experts at KS Services Heating and Air. They're fast and affordable. Right now, purchase any Bryant Energy Efficient System and save with 0% interest for 60 months with approved credit. It comes included with a five-year labor warranty. And our fair price guarantee means that we will always give you three quotes for every situation. A good, better, and best. Call KS Services Heating and Air today. We roll on whatever it takes. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, August 29th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather increasingly wet in coming days with moisture coming in from Harvey. What about the Labor Day weekend? A lot of things to talk about here. Let's uh, dive right in. Here's the water vapor satellite view. Got troughing north of the state. Harvey still stuck just off the Texas Gulf Coast. It's still pouring rain this morning. Heaviest rain is over in Beaumont and Port Arthur. Uh, still raining in Houston, but after today, Houston's going to be in much better shape as this thing begins to move. We'll talk more about Harvey in just a second. We've got flash flood watches from southeastern Texas to southwest Alabama, including Mobile and Baldwin counties. We could see some heavy rain near the Gulf Coast. Severe weather for the Gulf Coast a possibility today. We've got the standard slight risk all the way from near uh, uh, Port Arthur and Beaumont through South Louisiana, coastal Mississippi, and near Dauphin Island. A marginal risk includes Mobile and Baldwin counties, and again, there could be a few tornadoes in that zone today. Also, a marginal risk over on the North Carolina coast and the Outer Banks because of a, a tropical system there. Uh, tomorrow, a marginal risk for Louisiana, much of Mississippi, and extreme south and or extreme west and southwest Alabama. There's a closer look at our risk. That's basically from Pickens County down to Mobile. And again, uh, the possibility of a few isolated tornadoes in that darker green. And then on day three, which is Thursday, much of Alabama in a marginal risk. And we'll have to watch out for any pockets of convection that would try and rotate. And again, this is a fairly low-end tornado threat. Uh, but you, you got to watch these things. They can be pesky. QPF. A lot of rain on the way here. Uh, this is the rain expected through Tuesday of next week. Still 13 inches over southeastern Texas, a little east of Houston. Again, that's over toward Beaumont and Port Arthur. In uh, Alabama, we'll see pretty good amounts. We'll take a closer look at this in just a second. Uh, tropical weather. Obviously, Harvey's on the board. Potential tropical cyclone number 10 is near Cape Fear, North Carolina. Uh, it's not developed into a tropical storm so far, and a new tropical wave in the eastern Atlantic. This is the five-day outlook, that wave out in the eastern Atlantic with a high chance of developing. Let's start with Harvey. In fact, uh, here's a look at Harvey and potential tropical cyclone 10. Here's a nice uh, GO-16 loop of both of them. Uh, TD, or I say potential tropical cyclone 10 is having a hard time because of shear and Harvey is being sheared as well. Here's the track on Harvey. It's going to make its second landfall near Lake Charles or south of Lake Charles tomorrow afternoon. The remnant circulation comes up through the Mississippi Delta, passes near Nashville Friday night, then moves up into uh, eastern Kentucky Saturday night. And obviously, Alabama is going to be on the wet side. This is the rain expected as a result of Harvey. Um, in Alabama, the darker green, that's between two and four inches. Pretty good chunk of the state in that zone. But notice near the Gulf Coast, you see the shades of orange. That's between six and ten inches. So that's the reason we have a flash flood watch there. In that six to ten inch zone, that's the southern half of Mobile and Baldwin counties. Dauphin Island. Foley, Gulf Shores, Fairhope, Daphne. Uh, so a pretty good rain event coming up. And the question is, will the rain be gone for the weekend? That's a big question. There's model madness here, as we'll show you in just a second. Here's potential tropical cyclone 10. We sort of call it PTCT. Uh, that's going to scoot along the coast of North Carolina and kick out to sea. Look at 93L. That's our wave out in the eastern Atlantic. Looks like a CDO is forming, a central dense overcast perhaps, uh, although I would suggest the, that convection is not especially near the lowest center. It's still disorganized. Look at modeling on 93L. 
Most uh, tropical models bring it towards the west-northwest. Let's check the uh, global guidance. This is the uh, GFS ensemble. The GFS wants to turn it poleward. It wants to bend it at a higher latitude. And if this were to verify, it would not affect the Caribbean or the Gulf. Let's check the European. It's uh, farther to the south. And again, let's hand it here to the European. It's been performing much better. And uh, you got a couple of members that do bring it into the Caribbean. Most keep it north of there. Remains to be seen if this thing's going to recurve or be a problem for somewhere on the east coast of the United States. It's just simply too early to know. It's something we'll need to watch. Intensity guidance. Uh, these have come down since yesterday. Most models bring it to a tropical storm, not a hurricane in five days. But we'll keep an eye on that. All right, let's see if we can figure out what's going to happen here for the rest of this week and the weekend. It's Labor Day weekend and football. A lot of things going on. This is today at 1 o'clock, the 06E GFS. This is about 18,000 feet up at 500 millibars. Troughing over the eastern U.S. Harvey just off the Texas coast. And today should be a lot like yesterday. A lot of clouds, maybe some scattered light rain. Uh, nothing too heavy today. But tomorrow we turn pretty wet. Uh, Harvey should be around... Uh, the mouth of the Sabine River, the Texas-Louisiana border. Periods of rain will be in the 70s all day. Thursday, Harvey is near Shreveport. Periods of rain, maybe some thunder. Again, we'll be in the 70s all day. We'll have to watch for any pockets of convection that try and rotate, especially over the western half of the state, just a low-end tornado threat. But be aware that it's there. Friday, 1 o'clock, the system is approaching Memphis. Same deal, very wet, periods of rain. And again, we'll have to watch out for potential for any rotating pockets of convection, a low-end tornado threat. Now, the weekend is very much in question here. This is the uh, Saturday coming off the GFS. It's still got Harvey near Memphis. And if this were to verify, we'd still be wet, periods of rain, maybe some thunder. But wait a minute. The European has Harvey near Cincinnati, and we are dry-slotted. We're in dry air. And there's no rain at all, basically, for the state. So that's a model madness. And you know what I'm going to say here? The European has been performing much better, and I think we need to trend with that. So uh, what we're going to do here is trend drier for the Labor Day weekend. This is for the Gulf Coast and for the football games. You got uh, Alabama, of course, in Atlanta. It doesn't really matter in that they're playing inside. Auburn's at home. UAB's at home. Uh, but the bottom line is, uh, I think we're going to be more positive in our forecast. Yesterday, we had mentioned a chance of rain for all those sites. Today, I think we'll mention only an outside risk of a stray shower. It looks much better because we're going to side with the European. Sunday, this is back to the GFS, and again, we're going to discount that. I think Sunday will be relatively dry, and the same thing on Monday for Labor Day. So after some very wet weather, uh, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, the Labor Day weekend should be much drier. Not ready to take out the chance of rain completely, but we're going to move in that direction, and hopefully we'll see better clarity and better agreement uh, tomorrow. This is Tuesday, a week from today. Pretty good trough developing north of us, and a surface boundary approaches, and that might bring some rain toward the middle of next week. This is the end of the forecast period Thursday of next week. Nice trough to the north, and that's a dry, stable continental air mass, if that's right. Uh, and note what should be... Jose is east of the Bahamas. Let's check the European on the same day, and it's got that thing a lot farther to the south. In fact, it's got it sitting on the coast of Hispaniola. And if the European's right, that doesn't close the door on this thing maybe getting into the Gulf. It's just way too early to know. But, boy, look at that 1030 high pushing down into Minnesota. That's a cool-looking air mass, just like fall. All right, uh, numbers, 90s, forget about it. Uh, you can see maybe, well, I think we'll be in the 70s really tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday because of rain. And uh, after that, highs mostly low in mid-80s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. AC broken? Just call KS Services Heating and Air. All Bryant energy efficient systems come with a five-year labor warranty, and our fair price guarantee means that we'll always give you three quotes for every situation. Just call KS Services Heating and Air today.